Good evening. Welcome to Health is Wealth. I'm Bernetta Pearson and I'm back with you this evening. It's been a long, long time since I've been here um, and I'm happy to be back representing Black Nurses, Chicago chapter. And with me in the studio is Miss Janice Henry. And we have been enjoying bringing this program to you for so long and I'm just happy to say that I'm here again and we're going to talk about black history tonight. This time, out of all the black history that you've been listening to, I don't know if you've heard any about black nurses. So that is the theme of my talk and bringing it to you tonight. The history of black nurses, the first black nurse. That's where I'm going to get started. Now this is, I believe, the last day of Black History Month. And it has been a good month. I have learned so much about people and our history that I did not know. But I always learn more every February. I don't see very many books about nurses. As a matter of fact, I don't think we even say very much about nurses when we talk about our unsung heroes. When we talk about uh, the people who have been caregivers and providers and taking care of the public, somehow nursing seems to be left by the wayside. And so tonight, I am so delighted to bring you a nurse that I found out about that has a rich history. She nursed along with, get this, the first nurse. Florence Nightingale. This young lady was right beside her. Now, there's a book that was written that I came across that was written by Mary Elizabeth Carnegie. And the name of the book is The Path We Tread. And a lot of the uh, black history books have been written, but some of the ones that have been written about nursing have not really included this particular black nurse. So when I found out about her, I wanted to bring her to you. So, as you're watching tonight, if you have any questions that I can answer about this nurse, I would be happy to do so. You can just call us at 312-738-1000. Okay, first of all, there's a book that I want to show you, and it is called The Path We Tread. For all of you nurses out there of any persuasion or color, this book is something that, if you can find it, uh, it would be very good to read. Now, I know that it's on the internet. You can go to the internet, and you can look for this book, and the name of it is The Path we Tread. The Path We Tread is about blacks in nursing from 1854 to 1984 and was written by a nurse by the name of Mary Elizabeth Carnegie. If you have any questions to ask, like I said before, don't hesitate. And we also thank the um, organization, the Black Nurses is an organization that has been in existence for many years. As a matter of fact, I think we're historical. The person with me on the, uh, on the uh, show, Miss Janice Henry, I think she would agree with me that we too are making history, all of us. As you live and as you do things in your career, in your history, in your life, as you strive to make a difference, as you join your different uh, clubs, societies, etc., and you do things, you're making history. A lot of people are writing now, and it's a very good thing. I think maybe you might want to consider writing about your life. Don't ever think that it's not important, because it is. So, history books. I want to talk about this particular nurse tonight. The history books have excluded uh, largely people who are involved in black nurses. We have heard a lot, I have, about 
Florence Nightingale. She was the first nurse. She nursed the wounded in Crimea in the war. And she was an excellent nurse and an example that people still talk about today. But did you know that right next to Florence Nightingale, nursing the wounded soldiers was a black nurse. Uh, this black nurse was also trained to take care of, of patients. And she, for the most part, took care of the black soldiers who were nursing in that particular war. So in the war, Florence Nightingale, she went to, there was a war in Crimea. Let me start from the beginning. There was a war in a country named Crimea. Now that's overseas, not here in America. We, don't, we did not particularly have anything to do with that particular war. But Florence Nightingale learned about the war in Crimea and decided that she was going to go over there and help with taking care of the soldiers at that time. And she went to the British government and she asked for money to make that trip. And they gave it to her. Now at the same time, there was a black nurse and her name was Mary Seco. She also went to the British government and asked if she could have some money to make that journey to Crimea so that she too could take care of the soldiers. And she was denied. So what did she do? She took her own money. She traveled to Crimea. And she too nursed right alongside the first nurse, accordingly, Florence Nightingale. She nursed right alongside her. And together they took care of the soldiers from that war. Okay, so. They were not what you would call really trained nurses. The first trained nurse in America, since I'm giving you some black history, the first trained nurse in America was Mary Mahoney, Mary Elizabeth Mahoney. She was trained and she was the first black trained nurse. So there aren't very many history books and I happen to catch up with this particular one. And it's called The Path That We Tread. It, it's, as I said, it was written by Mary Elizabeth Carnegie. And only, not only in this book is the history of the first black nurse, but also the first black nursing schools, the first uh, nurses who were trained in different fields. It is a, it's a rich history of black nurses. And if you are listening and you want the uh, name of the book, the author, you can call in and I'll be happy to give it to you. 312-738-1000. Okay, so what happened was that when the nurses got over there and they began to do the training, it really turned the war around over there. When we come to America, I like to say that the Chicago chapter of the National Black Nurses Association, to which I belong, is to me one of the most prominent black nurses associations, organizations in this country. Very proud to be a member of the Chicago chapter, a past president of the Chicago chapter of the National Black Nurses. Our main headquarters is located in Washington, D.C. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, I can't even remember how many chapters we have. We have quite a few. Do you know, Janice? It's quite a few. If you would like to join, first of all, when we talk about careers, when we talk about our people, when we talk about our population, and those of us who work very hard. I, sometimes I get a little bit salty when I hear people talking about first responders and, and all of the wonderful things that they do. And right along with the first responders, the, sh the policemen, the firemen, are the nurses. 
the nurses from all different organizations, all organizations, period, all walks of life, the nurses are there. And we work hard, I can tell you. We work very hard, and we're good at what we do. But the credit, I, I hate to say a lot of times, I really don't hear it being there, and it's not that we nurse for credit. But it is a worthwhile career that if your daughters or your sons, we do have male nurses, if they are looking for a career path, they might want to consider going into nursing. The pay is not bad, the hours are long, the work is hard, but it's very rewarding. And I wanted to do this during Black History Month because I think that it's an excellent time to talk about the first nurse, give you the history. Um, I'm going to give you the organization, the, the number. Um, we meet on Saturdays every second Saturday. And Janice, I, I truly need that phone number. I didn't bring it into the studio with me, sorry to say, but I'm going to give it to you before I go off the air. The other thing is that to find this particular author, Mary Elizabeth Carnegie, you would have to look for her book. And, oh, by the way, you can go on the internet. If I didn't say it, I'm saying it now. You can go on the internet and you can look up this particular nurse. And she's in there. And we looked her up, a friend of mine. And if you get in there, you can find the history. Now, I don't know how many people know that there was more than one first nurse. I, I'm not sure. But we just really wanted you to know about this one. I did. Okay. If you have questions, give me a call. You're not giving me a call. And I'm just getting back to the uh, TV show after having been gone a long time. And I'm happy to be back. Are there any other people in... Uh, Black History, since we're winding up this month, and before I forget, I cannot leave out the fact that the heart, February, is the heart month also. That's why I'm in red, because I wanted to say one last time, one last day in February, that the Heart Association has been bringing out all kinds of information about your heart. And I would like to tell you from experience that the heart is nothing to play with. That women die early and often from heart attacks. Women have, I believe, more heart attacks than men do. And so in celebration of American Heart Month, as well as Black History Month, I would like to say that these are some things that you need to do as far as taking care of yourself and taking care of your heart. Uh, I believe the flu epidemic has sort of cooled down a little bit and things are getting better and the flu season may be almost over. But I have to tell you I'm going to do some shows on taking care of yourself and taking care of your heart and trying to help you avoid something that in a lot of cases you don't have to experience. It's a, it's a very bad experience to do. Okay, I'm gonna go to a break for a moment because I need to get some numbers for you. So I'm going to do something that I don't usually do and that is, if you'll help me back there young man, is to go to off for just for a minute. Oh, we have a caller. So I'm going to stay on for a minute. Hi, caller. Hi. The information for the Chicago Chapter National Black Nurses Association is you, you the that phone number. The phone number is 773-792-7222. And they meet the second Saturday of every month at the Lutheran School of Theology, 1100 East 55th Street. 
Thank you. I'm writing it down, and I should know that because I used to come all the time. East 55th Street. Okay. Okay. Who do I have the pleasure of speaking to? This is Janice. Who? Janice. Oh, okay. Hi, Janice. How are you? Thank you for rescuing me. I didn't bring that information in here with me. I'm, no I'm so busy recovering that I'm not all together yet. But thank you, and I'm going to repeat that again. The, the nurse was kind enough, and she is a member of the Chicago Chapter National Black Nurses Association. She was kind enough to call in and give me that information because I haven't done my homework. I haven't done my homework, but I'm going to repeat what she called in. The phone number. Please call this phone number if you want more information about us. 773-792. 7222. And I'll repeat it. 773-792-7222. And we meet at the Lutheran School of Theology, and that address is 1100 East 55th Street. 1100 East 55th Street. And when you come in, there's parking on the street, and there will be a security person at the desk, and they will direct you to the meeting room that Black Nurses meets in. We meet every second Saturday of the month, and we have many projects and things that we do to help the community. Uh, almost every nursing organization from time to time has events and other uh, activities that they do to help the community to stay well. We do teaching. We do nursing at health fairs. We work. When you look at, and I do look at, is this, this is not Thursday, but when you look at the nursing shows on television, the kind of work that the nurses do on there is, is just like the kind of work that we do. We work hard, we work long, and we are gratified when we can help patients come along and get better when they are sick or injured. The other thing is, talking about violence, we're coming upon the summer months. I do believe that the Trauma Center at the University of Chicago will be open shortly if it's not already open. I would really love it if we could not fill up that trauma center. If that we could do and help all of the organizations in this city as much as we can to keep that trauma center from being full. Because that's not, that its mission is of course to take care of you. But it's not to invite you to come on in since we have this new trauma center. Just go out there and, and do everything you can do to help yourself get in the trauma room or someone else. And, and I'm saying that seriously because we, we already do. We have a lot of shootings. We have a lot of killings. Um, we have a lot of trauma that goes on in the community. Um, on the other hand, we have, as, long, as far as the opioid epidemic is concerned, that is raging. And by the way, I, I need to do a show on opioids, and I will in the future. And if you can think of any other shows, any other information that we can give you regarding questions that you have about health, where to go, anything that you want to know with regard to the nursing education, how your daughters or your sons can become nurses. They have organizations for young nurses, for all nurses, for black, for white. Um, we don't discriminate. But we need nurses. And men, you are missing the boat if you miss this for a career. It is a very good career. It's, it's, you know, a lot of men over the years have said, I don't want, that's a woman's job. It's everybody's job that cares about taking care of people. Not, it's not limited to women only. And by the way, the Chicago Chapter National Black Nurses and the National Organization of Black Nurses has men members. And you are so welcome to come and join us or 
let your relatives know in other states that they can call their Black Nurses Association. I'm sure they have one. We do have one in almost all the states. So tell them to look it up and give them a call and join. If they have children who just graduated or who are thinking about nursing, tell them to give us a call. And we'll be happy to answer your question. And the number again, I'm going to repeat it, 773-792-7200. I hope that you've learned something tonight. I tried my best to give you some information on this particular nurse because I wanted you to know at the end of Black History Month that there was a black nurse who nursed right along with Florence Nightingale way back there. And the book that you can find that in, you can find it on the internet, but you can also go to The Path We Tread by Mary Elizabeth Carnegie and read that information. That is history. That's nursing history. And we want to be recognized for our first, just like everyone else. I'm going to wrap up. If you haven't had any questions and you haven't called me, I just got back, okay? I'm going to be coming to you uh, next month, for fourth Tuesday of every month. I'm going to be coming to you. And if you have any ideas on shows or, or events or things that you need to know pertaining to health, nursing, give us a call. Give us a call and we'll try to help you out on whatever it is that you want. I want to thank you for joining. I have about a minute left. And if you didn't write this down, please do. It's called The Path We Tread, Blacks in Nursing, 1854 to 1984. So this book includes the first nurses, the first black nurses, the first black nursing schools, and all types of history. And as long as you're reading and learning, the name of this book is The Path We Tread. Did I have it crooked? Yes. The Path We Tread. Mary Elizabeth Carnegie. Make that your must reading. Tune in next month. I promise you a much better. Yeah, I take that back. I promise you a good show next month. And if you have any ideas on what you want to talk about, give us a call. And we will be so happy to make a show based upon what you want to hear. We're here for that. Okay, I'm going to leave you. Thank you for having me tonight. It's good to be back. And I get better every month, so next month I should really be on top of my game. How about that? Take care and be safe and be careful out there.